Welcome once again to 242 Math. I am your host Raphael Thompson and today we'll be looking at a topic in geometry called transformations. First we'll be dealing with reflections. Number one, reflect the flamingo and the y-axis. First you have to identify the y-axis already identified. Then you would flip or reflect, reflect the flamingo on the other side of the y-axis. That That is what in the y-axis means on the other side of the y-axis. There you have the answer. The red line shows you how many spaces it was to the right. So you count the same number of spaces to the left and you flip or reflect the flamingo. So just count the, um, the lines or spaces. Number two, reflect the flamingo in the x-axis. Now you have to identify the x-axis first and then draw the flamingo, flip the flamingo on the other side of the x-axis. In the x-axis means on the other side of the x-axis. Let's see if you can do that quickly. Remember you have to flip it. Good. Yeah, you have your answer. And you see the red line shows how many spaces it was to the top. So you put it the same number of lines or spaces to the bottom when you flip it or give the reflection. Remember, in the x-axis means on the other side of the x-axis. Number three, give the reflection of animal A from animal B. And you have the grouper, grouper A, grouper B. You have the hummingbird A and B, the parrot A and B, and the flamingo A and B. So for the grouper, you'd have to say, give the reflection of grouper A from grouper B. So you have to say a reflection in an axis, in the x-axis or in the y-axis. So let's see if you can get that done. Here are your answers. I hope you got them correct. The flamingo was a reflection in the y-axis. The parrot was a reflection in the x-axis. The grouper a reflection in the y-axis and the hummingbird was a reflection in the x-axis. Remember, if you are dealing with the x or y-axis, it's fairly simple. Just um, count where it is. Now the rest, we'd be dealing with reflections in a line. And this is where it gets a bit complicated. But once you can identify lines, then you should be able to work these as well. That's what we're going to do now. Number four, identify these lines, use the colors. And we have lines that run across. And we have the green, the black, and the blue. And up and down, we have the red, the purple, the blue, and the yellow. Okay, there's one that runs like a diagonal, the orange line. Uh, let's see if you can do that as well. That's a bit tricky. But let's see if you can figure it out. Okay, so it's either x is equal to something or y is equal to something. So let's see if we can get that done. Here you have your answers for across. The green line, y is equal to 2. The black, y is equal to negative 4. The blue is y is equal to negative a half, halfway between the 0 and the 1. Up and down, the red was x equal to negative 4. The purple, x equal to negative 1. The blue, x equal to 2. The yellow is x equal to 3 and a half. The expert one, the diagonal orange line was y is equal to x. That was a bit tough. Hope you got all of those. Once you can identify a line, then we can move on to this. Five, give the reflection of animal A from B again. We have group A, group B, and then we have um, hummingbird A and B, the flamingo A and B, and the parrot A and B. Now you're doing the reflection in line, and it may not be in the X or Y axis that we're, we're talking about. Let's see if you can do those quickly. Identify the line halfway between them, and say it's a reflection in that line. Okay, here you have your answers. The grouper was a reflection of the line x equal to negative 1. The hummingbird was a reflection of the line y is equal to negative 1. The flamingo was a reflection of the line x equal to negative 1. And the part was a reflection in the line y is equal to negative a half. That was a bit tricky. Number 6. It says plot and join the points. And we have... A is 2, 1, B, 2, 4, C, 3, 1. To form the triangle ABC, reflect triangle ABC in the y-axis, label it A1, B1, and C1. 
Let's do the first part. You have to plot and join those points. So let's do that quickly. Plot those points. A21, B24, C31. Then join them. Use a ruler. Join them to form a triangle. ABC. Done. Good. There you have it. Triangle ABC. And now you have to reflect that triangle in the Y axis. Label it A1, B1, C1. So first, find the Y axis and draw it on the other side of the Y axis. So the same distance, each point is away on the right. You put each point the same distance away from the Y axis on the left. Count if you need to do that. Count the spaces. It is away from it and then you'd get it. There you have it. So A turned out to be A1. It was two lines away. So put the two lines away. B was two lines away at the top. You put two lines away. C was one, two, three lines away on the right. So you put three lines away on the left. And there you have it. That's your triangle reflected in the Y axis. Hope you got that correct. Remember you label it A1, B1, C1 corresponding to A, B, and C. Number seven, A, plot and join the points A, 1, 2, B, 1, 4, C, 4, 2, to form triangle ABC. Then reflect triangle ABC in the X axis. Label it A1, B1, and C1. Let's do the first part. Um, plot and join those points. 1, 2, A, B, 1, 4, C, 4, 2. You have it? Take your ruler, form a triangle. Label it A, B, C. There you have it. 7A, triangle ABC. Now, remember you have to reflect that in the X axis. Find the X axis. Draw it on the other side of the X axis. That's what it means, reflected in the X axis. Count the spaces. So if A is one, two points above, A would be two points below. If B is one, two, three, four above, B would be four below. Same for C. See if you can get that done. There you have the answer. That's the triangle that's reflected in the X axis. Remember you label it and put the labels, put the letters that correspond to the letters from the original triangle ABC. So A would be A1, B, B1, C would be C1. So that's fairly simple. Okay, once you reflected it, then you're done. Number eight says, A, plot and join the points A, negative four, one, B, negative four, four, and C, negative two, one, to form triangle ABC. B, reflect triangle ABC in the Y axis, label it A1, B1, C1, and C, reflect triangle ABC in the X axis, label it A2, B2, and C2. Do the first part. Join those points, plot the points. A, negative four, one, B, negative four, four, C, negative two, one. Join those points together to form the triangle. Label it. Get that done first, then you're on your way. Now, there you have it, you have triangle ABC. And now you have to reflect it in the Y axis. Find the Y axis, draw the reflection on the other side. So you do what I was telling you all along, count um, where A is from the Y on the left, count to the right and you draw, you put that point and do it for A, B, C, draw your triangle and label it A1, B1, C1. There you have it. So that's the reflection of triangle A, B, C in the Y axis on the other side of the Y axis. Okay, the Y axis is halfway between those two triangles and you reflected it on the other side. Now you have to reflect the original triangle ABC in the X axis. Find the X axis, draw a triangle ABC on the other side of the X axis. That's what in the X axis means, All right? There you have it. That's the reflection of triangle ABC in the X axis. And you label the points A2, B2, C2. A2 was A, B2 is B and C2 is C. And that's your reflection in the X axis. The X axis would be halfway between those two triangles. Okay, hope you got that one correct.
we will move on to harder ones now where we, we would have to reflect it in a line or identify the reflection in a line which does not necessarily have to be the x or y axis here we go number nine a plot and join the points a one two b one four at c three two to form triangle abc b reflect triangle abc in the line x equal to negative one label it a1 b1 c and c1 this is what i was telling you about now instead of label i'm um, reflecting it in the x-axis we're reflecting it in the line x equal to negative one first find that line draw it in x equal to negative one draw that line and then once you have your triangle you're going to reflect it in that line there you have it the triangle is drawn and then you have the line in black that shows the line x equals negative one now reflect it on the other side of that so the same way you see it on the right you reflect it or flip it and you draw it on the left number a b and c each of those points would be the same distance away from that line when you reflect the image of triangle abc let's see if we can get that done So just like it was before, now same thing, there you have the answer. Instead of using the x or y axis, we use the line x equal to negative 1, and that's the reflection of triangle ABC on the other side of that line, x is equal to negative 1. Okay, and notice it runs through the point negative 1 on the x axis. So that's where you draw that line. And then you reflect the triangle on the other side of it and label it A1 for A, B1 for B, and C1 for C. And there you have it. That would be your answer for number nine let's move on to number 10 it says a describe the transformation that maps triangle a onto triangle b b describe the transformation that maps triangle a onto triangle c and c describe the transformation that maps triangle b onto triangle d so you have three parts to this question so you have the triangles labeled already a b c and d so you have to describe the transformation so you say it's a reflection in a line and it could also be reflection in the x or y axis depending on where it is but you have to say a reflection in a line and give that line okay remember that line would be halfway between the two triangles that we are talking about okay so let's see you do them do triangle a b and c now here you have the answers a was a reflection in the line x is equal to 1 that was halfway between them b was a reflection in the x-axis halfway between them but was the x-axis and c reflection in the line y is equal to negative 1 that line was halfway between the two triangles y is equal to negative 1 hope you got those correct we're not finished and we call this expert level 11. A. Describe the transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. Describe B. Describe the transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle C. And C. Describe the transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle D. Uh, you are the expert, so let's see you complete this. Okay, go ahead, look at triangle A and triangle B. Find a line halfway between them and say it's a reflection in that line. Look at A, a and C, triangle A and C find a line halfway between them and say it's a reflection in that line and do the same for triangle a and triangle d that's the harder one and let's see if you can find that line for a and d you are a real expert if you got the answers 11 a was a reflection in the line x equal to a half b was a reflection in the line y is equal to negative a half and c was a reflection in the line y is equal to x that was the expert one, the hard one. You may have gotten it or you may not. Don't mind if you didn't get it, you'd get it in the later ones. Just practice these time and time again. And upcoming would be rotations. So we want you to tune in, okay? So if you didn't get it, just play it back to understand what reflections are. And it's fairly simple once you understand the reflection is in a line and that line is halfway between the items that you are talking about.